you doing here? I, I thought you were rehearsing with the guys. Ah, the bastards kicked me out because I'm not good enough. Oh, and they also taught me that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. So maybe you should, uh, you know, do the test. I had cancer, Peter, remember? I was in the hospital. You weren't there for it. Well, maybe you have it again. Peter, I'm not falling for your trick. But if you're upset about the guys kicking you out of the group, you can't really blame them. The violin takes discipline and dedication. You never even practiced. They probably thought you were just wasting their time. Maybe you're right, I guess. I guess I could have been a little more serious about it. Well, it's not too late. Maybe you could find a teacher who could help you learn. And if you work at it and get a little better, they'll see you care about them. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll take some lessons. I'm going to work really hard, just like my deodorant. How does a guy like me stay fresh? I use Fat Guy's deodorant. Whether you're sitting, leaning, lying down, or sitting, Fat Guy's keeps you dry. Apply every five minutes, and you're good for five minutes. And now for the confusing commercial backstory. Ready for the fundraiser, Dad? Yeah, be right there, buddy. We're going to a fundraiser, and we share a bedroom. Mr. Pewter Smith, you have a visitor? Hey, buddy, looking good. So, what are we drinking? Or better yet, why aren't we drinking? <laughs> Get the hell out of here! I told you I'm done with you! And besides, I'm off to the spa down at the club. How's the temp? Good and hot? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Hey, did you also not wash your ass before getting in? Yeah. <laughs> that sign. Here you go, Mr. Glenn. Thanks. Hey, can I get a couple of extras of these plastic bags? Let me just test this out quickly. Yeah, that works. Okay, now you go. I have to get back to teaching violin lesson. Those scales sound terrible. You fat and lazy. You leave now. Oh, please. I gotta get better so I can be as good as my friends. I really let them down. Your fingers, no bleeding. You no try hard enough. You want me to press iron on your back again? I'm trying, I'm trying. Try harder. Play better. Is <laughs> <laughs> ah! somebody making a Cuban sandwich? Lousy, no good, rockin' fresh and fresh and fresh and fresh and pretty soon, but I got help push him Ryan, what's up? Why are you engaging in cartoon profanity? Carter wants nothing to do with me. I'm just so mad. Don't you mean sad? You know, about the friendship? Oh, no, of course. You mean mad about the money. All right, fine. It was about the money. I missed the money. Yes, I know. I saw all your Instagrams on his helicopter like it was your helicopter. I never said it was my helicopter. Yeah, never said it wasn't. The implication was that it was a regular part of your life. Anyway, I know this makes me sound awful, but I almost wish Carter was still blind so he'd still need me. Yeah, but he's not. But... He could be. But he isn't. But he should be. Oh, no. Come on, it'll be temporary. Just until he realizes I'm a great hang. But you're not, so I don't want any part of this. Okay, I get it, I get it. No, you, you wouldn't want to help me. I, what was I thinking? He, he's your grandfather, even though he did say that thing about you. What? What did he say about me? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I thought I told you. Um, he said you couldn't cut it as a member of One Direction. What? But they have an opening! Zane is gone! He does know Zane is gone, right? Oh, he definitely knows. Yeah, he, he thinks you could be in O-Town, but not One Direction. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're manipulating me, but let's go blind that old bastard. Listen, Peter, we know you've been working hard on the violin. But more importantly, you're our pal. And we'd like you to be back in the group. Really? What if I'm not good enough? Well, that's the thing. We decided we'd rather be lousy with you than great without you. Joe, no offense, but I'd prefer to hear it from someone else. That's fair. So what do you say, Peter? Will you come and play the wedding with us? Oh, you bet I will. Oh, thanks, you guys won't regret this. And don't you worry, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Uh, Tell them uh, the truth. Uh, it's me. It's me. I'm the one who takes too long to get ready. It's because I don't have any nice clothes. Peter? All right, it's because I don't like the way I look. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.